Hello and welcome to Anatomy and Physiology at Glen Oaks Community College. I'm Dr. Ren Hartung and today I'd like to talk a little bit about the differences between male and female pelvises. You should be able to recognize in the lab if you're presented with both a female and male skeleton, you should be able to tell me which one's male and which one's female and probably the easiest way to do that is to look at the pelvis and some of these various features that I'm going to talk about. The first one we'll talk about is general features. Um, for the male, in general, the, all of the bones of the body, but especially the pelvis, are thicker and heavier. And of course, in the females, they tend to be more thin and less heavy. This is probably because males produce more testosterone and that causes them to make more skeletal muscle. And if there's more muscle, there's a bit more strength. And as you remember from skeletal physiology, if you apply more stress to a bone, it will respond to that by increasing its thickness. The inlet and the outlet, um, just in general, the male inlet and outlet is more narrow. And in females, the inlet and outlet both are wider. The inlet, by the way, if I get I can put together this these two hip bones to kind of show you. This is from a male, and this part up here would be the inlet. This is the female inlet. Notice that it's rather large and round compared to the male inlet, which is not quite as big around and has more of that heart shape I described. The outlet, as you can see looking through the male, is rather narrow. The coccyx comes down there and blocks it. Um, the ischium are in the way and the ischial spines are in the way this man would have a hard time delivering children. The female outlet is rather large. The sacrum is angled in such a way to get out of the way and the um, ischial spines are not coming in as far and the ischiums are kind of angled out. The angles for the male, um, you'll notice in general the angles, there's less of an angle. So for example, the uh, greater sciatic notch, this notch that is here, in a male, in fact this is a male um, oscoxi, that angle is pretty narrow, that's maybe a 45 degree angle, and in females it's wider than that, it's usually greater than a 90 degree angle. If I can bring the camera down and turn him sideways, notice the sciatic notch angle and compare that to the female sciatic notch angle if I can turn her sideways. There is simply a wider angle on the female sciatic notch. So we could say the sciatic notch. Um, and the other angle if I put this pelvis back together again There's an angle created at the front of the pelvis, which I believe is called a pelvic arch, right here between these two bones. And in males, it's rather narrow, as you can see here with this male pelvis, and in females, it's much wider, which contributes to the size of the outlet. We'll start with the female this time. If I can get the camera low enough, 
Can you see that angle created right there? It's wider than that of, of the male there. Um, I guess you could best see that angle looking down into the pelvis. You can see the angle there and you can see the angle again here. And this one obviously is the female because it has a wider angle. So again, males versus females. Males, the, bone, the bones tend to be thicker and heavier. Females tend to be thinner and less heavy. Um, inlet and outlet. In the male, the inlet and outlet both are more narrow. Um, and in females, the inlet and outlet are wider. There's also a shape difference I didn't mention earlier for the inlet. The inlet in the male tends to have more of a heart shape to it. And in the female, it tends to be more round. For the angles, um, for the sciatic notch and for the front of the pelvis, the angle there, um, those are both wider in females and more narrow in males. So more of an angle in females. which translates to being wider. And those are some of the major features, differences between male and female pelvis. In my lab, I require that you're able to recognize this is a male pelvis or this is a female pelvis and give me at least one or two reasons why you think that one is male or that one is female. Any questions, please email, call me, and thank you again for watching.